get the soda, will you? And then when you're done with that, give me a scotch back. Change of plans. Just got lucky. I like had a really lousy day. Can I buy you a drink? Why don't you pick yourself back up and go away? And sit here and watch you drink yourself into oblivion? What do you care? Well, I'm a recovering alcoholic. Oh. So buying me a drink is some kind of a step and some kind of a program? I was going to suggest you have my drink of choice, which is a club soda with lime. Why don't you go suggest stuff to somebody else? I just hate to see someone I admire go down this path. Yeah, right. Oh, Todd, it's true. Come on. We're both survivors, fighters. You're just like me. I don't dislike you. In spite of all those nasty little tricks you played on me. Like the time at the diner when you had Max believing that I was lying about Blair owning B&B &B United. You actually did me a favor. What a guy. Oh, you really opened my eyes about Max. Glad to hear it. Go away. Oh, well, Max... Max isn't capable of loving any woman. But you are. You really love Blair, don't you? You'd do anything for her. Stand by her no matter what. That's all I've ever wanted in a man. Well, I sure hope that she knows how lucky she is to have you and that she appreciates you. Well, considering what you've done for her, I hope she's on her knees thanking you every day. What is it that you think I did for Blair? Oh, you know. No, I forget. Remind me. Planted that gun in my room for starters. The one that she used to shoot Max. Can you keep a secret? Sure. It's my specialty. You know that gun that they found in your room? I didn't put it there. Whatever you say. So are you bummed now because of Max and Blair? There is no Max and Blair, not anymore. Want a bet? You all right, Blair? Please leave. Why, are you uh, afraid of what Todd will do if he comes back and... You don't really think that Blair's finished with Max, do you? Or that he's finished with her? They hate each other. Max doesn't want Blair anywhere near him. Yeah. Like the flame doesn't want the moth to fly so close. What do you know? That they do their own version of a crazy mating dance. That they need to create a triangle. That it turns them on to you, some poor lovesick jerk to stick it to each other. And I should know. I was one of those jerks. And now, so are you. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I have a lot more experience in these games than you do. There were a few times when Max actually had me convinced that he'd seen the light. And then he went crawling back to Blair within days. They used to love to hate each other. They whip themselves up into a frenzy and they get right back together. That ends up dumping you just like they did to me. No, shut up, all right? Just shut your stupid face with your stupid half-baked ideas and keep them to yourself. I'm not interested. Todd isn't blackmailing me into anything. I want to marry him. No, I don't believe you do. But I think you're too afraid to back out at this point. Well, I think you're really way off. Lisa told me about the show that Todd put on at the airport when you and uh, Star came back from Florida. He had you arrested on Christmas Eve, thrown into jail, and wouldn't drop the charges until he felt that you had uh, learned your lesson. What else is he doing to threaten you, Blair? Come on, what does he have on you? Nothing. Todd loves me. Hmm. Just like he loved Taya. She had to drop off the face of the earth to finally get away from him. And it looks to me like you're just about to follow her. 
But you know something? You have a choice. And you have an option. And one that's guaranteed to work. What's that? You can stop protecting him. Get rid of him once and for all. All you have to do is tell me how Todd was involved in Max's shooting. You'd better listen to what I have to say about Max and Blair if you want to stay out of prison. Okay. So everyone in prison is somebody who didn't listen to you? Oh, don't play dumb with me. We both know that Blair shot Max and you helped her cover it up. You helped her get away with attempted murder. And how does she pay you back? She goes right back to the man she tried to kill. And that's not where it's going to end, because knowing Blair, she'll try to pin the shooting on you. My advice, get her before she gets you. I mean, come on, it's not like she derailed me taking the fall for shooting Max. Because she really did it. Right? You know, this whole thing's driving me crazy. Really, I, I feel all this pressure. I don't think I can stand it any longer. Come on, Todd. You can talk to me. Well, it's just, you know, I don't understand how a guy like Max can take a woman, you know, a smart, funny, beautiful woman, and turn her into this dog, you know, whining and, and begging from him. Well, she must have hated herself. And she must have hated him for humiliating her. She wanted to make him pay for yeah, everything she, she did wanted to, to her. make him pay. And a guy like Max, you know, he's smart. He takes this woman that he claims to love and pushes her right to the edge. Well, she just couldn't take it anymore, I guess. So she got a gun and shot him in the back. And Blair was a mess. You know, Max in the hospital, floating in between life and death. And... Blair didn't want him to die. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure everyone will understand that, that Max drove you to it, Scott. I mean, you said yourself you'd had enough. You couldn't take it anymore. That you, you couldn't deal with all the humiliation that he put you through. I'm sure the judge will take that into account before he sentences you. What the hell are you talking about? Well, you just confessed to me that you shot Max, unless I missed something. Oh, you just set me up, you miserable... Funny thing, son. I thought you were setting me up. What... Doing? Looking for Stop the that. tape recorder. Well, there doesn't seem to be one. So what? Are you wearing a mic, huh? Who's on the other end? Is it Sykes? Huh? Hey, Johnny boy. Get your away mama from dresses me. you for... Get away from me. I just saw him on the. Yeah, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Blair's probably ratting you out as we speak. Todd had nothing to do with Max being shot. Are you going to stop protecting him and start protecting yourself? I don't need to protect myself from anything. Oh, come on, Blair, admit it. You can be finished with him forever. No more ugly scenes, no more tugs of war about your daughter. Todd loves Star. Really? I wonder. Oh, come on, when has he ever been a real father to her? Hmm? When has he ever nurtured her like a father? When has he ever set an example for her like a father? He does the best that he can. Yeah. But we both know that his best isn't very good, don't we? Come on, Blair. What about you, huh? When has he ever really given you more than a few fleeting moments of happiness? Happiness isn't all it's cracked up to be. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, how can it be when you're looking at a life of misery with a man who acts like a willful child? Look, I know that you have had it rough, but Todd isn't the answer. Let him go. Let him pay for his crime. Come on, hasn't he gotten away with enough? You know, everyone in this town would believe you over him. He did it, didn't he? He did it. Todd shot Max. Come on, Blair, just say it. Save yourself. Just say it. All right. 